Now I'm going to show you how to reassemble the whole thing. You want to put the LCD screen connector cable back in. I usually push with my thumb. Put my thumb underneath right here and push. And then close the flap. You'll hear a little click when you close it. Then you take the mainframe and the touchpad component and put the screen into it diagonally like that. Hold down the gold foil because it's going to want to get in the way. If you buy a replacement screen, sometimes it won't come with the foil because if they're brand new from the manufacturer, it won't have the foil. Foils usually come with the used ones. Then you're going to want to take your screw that came out right here. If I can find it here. There it is. It's a little... It looks different from all the other screws. It's a unique little screw. And uh, it's like medium sized. So then you're going to want to put it back where it came from and screw it back into place. Part might be a little tricky here for you. Sometimes it kind of falls out repeatedly and you have to fight it to get it in there. Okay, the next step is to reconnect the touchpad connector cable with the motherboard. It just snaps back into place on its connector. Just like that. And then snap the motherboard back into place. And put the screws back in, all the six screws. The two longest screws go on top. These are little tiny screws and they're hard to deal with. I have fat fingers, that's why I use my pliers all the time. If you need a pair of pliers, you can get them anywhere. Home Depot or any, any hardware store will have them. Pretty common item. So at this point, we've put together the uh, circuit board back onto the Zenvision M, and the only thing left is the hard drive and the backing component. So to put the hard drive back in, you put it into place here, and then just push the connector cable back onto the, uh, the yellow port here on the motherboard. then you're going to want to uh, plug the battery back in. At this point your your Zenvision M will probably power on, but that's not a big deal. Okay, and close it up. 
it just snaps shut like that. Then you're going to want to put the screws back in and put the plastic components back on. And there you have it. Um, this disassembly video is good for replacing your LCD screen, hard drive, motherboard, um, and or battery.